Well, I had a uh, subscriber kind enough to send me his oil analysis stuff for Zero W20. So he's been following suit with what I'm doing with 5W30. And he has been testing the Zero W20 that he uses. And I just wanted to share some of those with you and let you choose for yourself on what you think is the best. And I'll let you know uh, based on uh, what I see, um, what I'm liking. In general just based on a a uh, VOA nothing more that's it just looking at a VOA understanding the product a little bit not super in-depth and just going over what 0w20 looks like in a couple different forms and here we have mobile one extended performance 0w20 it has a molly of 88 Boron of 73, silicon 5, sodium 2, anti-foaming agents, 647 calcium, 647 magnesium, 633 phosphorus, 708 zinc, sus of 54, CST of 8.4, TBN of 6.8. Uh, this mobile is built and formulated just like the other ones are, just like the 0W20, or the, I mean the... <clears throat> 5W20 and the 5W30R, all of those VOAs look almost identical, if not pretty much identical. All the numbers are about the same from 0W20, 5W20, 5W30. So uh, that was nothing unexpected there. The number, numbers look kind of low, and the reason it is is because uh, of the type of base stock that they use, and they're uh, supposed to be some kind of triple action molly or whatever. To, I, whatever. Uh, just numbers look kind of low to me, um, but it's because of how they formulate it. So if that's your thing, that's your thing. But I have definitely found using Valvoline or Pennzoil seems to be better for me personally and a lot of other people. Uh, but I'll leave that to you to decide yourself. So here we have Valvoline Extended Protection uh, 0W20. And it has a Molly of 303. Oh, that's pretty high. And it has boron 128, silicon 12, sodium 4, calcium 1411, magnesium 546, phosphorus 722, zinc 841, sus viscosity of 50.2, CST of 7.32, flash point 440, and TBN of 6.4. I'm a huge fan of the Valvoline products. Uh, it seems to be a pretty good pretty good product overall and uh when i use the valvoline products or i see people switch to the valvoline products they simply just feel like their experience overall is just much better um drivability wise quietness of the engine a little bit better fuel mileage kind of thing but maybe that's anecdotal i don't know but that seems like an outstanding ad pack to me but what do i know i'm just a oil peasant right this is the new Quaker State Ultimate Durability 0W20. So this should be interesting. We are looking at 151 Molly. And we have 91 Boron, 7 Silicons, 2 Sodium, 1205 Calcium, 460 Magnesium, 639 Phosphorus, 737 Zinc. Sus Viscosity 53, CST 8. Flashpoint 475, pretty strong looking oil for the most part, 6.5 TBN. Looks like a decently strong oil, especially the sus viscosity and CST uh, testing. It's a little higher than the other ones, kind of center of the range more. And the Flashpoint was 475, which that's really, really good for uh, an oil uh, to not be right at the minimum category. So it's, it's, hey, you know what? I would try it. I would definitely try it. This is the Havoline Synthetic 0W20 Lifelong Pro DS formula you find at Walmart. It is outstanding. 297 Molly. Let's see what we got here. 126 Boron, 14 Silicon, 3 Sodium, 1503 Calcium, 533 Magnesium, 717 Phosphorus, 830 Zinc. Wow. Nice ad pack. 52.7 Sus. 809 CST 410 is the flash point right at the minimum and a TBN of 6.6. This is definitely an outstanding oil for the price. It's cheap oil too. 
Well, that's my uh, take on the Zero W20 oils. If I had to pick a great economical oil that's cheap, seems like it's really good. You get six quarts of it in a box between $22 to $29. That Havoline Pro DS, wow. Outstanding price for that. I haven't run it, so I can't speak on behalf of it. The Valvoline uh, is probably always going to be my go-to in these simpler categories like this. Valvoline or Penn's oil, just because of how well their uh, oils are made. Um, but I can't say that I wouldn't use Havoline because uh, Chevron, they, they put out a good product as well. So the Chevron Havoline oils, that's the surprising one out of this whole group here is for it to be a uh, cheap uh, bulk made oil in a box at Walmart on the bottom shelf probably in 22 to I seen it 22 23 dollars and then I seen one for like 29 but all the Walmarts around my area says no, none of them have any of that stuff in stock so I'd have to travel out of the area to get the 5w30 formula uh, but anyway wow outstanding oils uh, this that that was interesting be blessed. Take care. Have a great Monday. Uh, don't work too hard. And uh, be kind. Don't be mean. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all.